Hello and welcome to Chair Yoga. I'm Nina G and I'm so glad that you've joined me. Today's class, we work with this feeling of lightness, lightness versus that heavy feeling that we sometimes get in the colder weather. We're gonna use our chair. We're also gonna use a block today, both to connect our feet to the floor and then we'll use it again later for a few other things. If you don't have a block, don't worry about it. We have many options. But grab your chair and perhaps a block and we'll get started. We'll begin seated in our chair and we're gonna slide the body back so that the thighs are supported on the seat of the chair. And this is the part where it's always nice to have something to connect your feet to the floor if they don't really feel firm on the floor. Sit up tall, soften the shoulders and right away, let's think about those ribs just kind of lifting up and out of the hips, almost as if they could float away, but they're tethered back down by that spine. We can turn the palms up or down, whatever feels better. And just tune in to your breath. Notice if there's a place where you experience the breath more than others, whether it's the nostrils, perhaps you feel a lifting and lowering of the chest and collarbones. Maybe you feel sensation in the belly. Or really anywhere throughout that breath cycle, maybe the back of the throat, but just notice where that is for you and bring your focus there. Begin to slow down and even out the breath. And if it feels right for you, you could soften or close your eyes. And just arrive here, ready for this yoga practice. And we've had some time to take a few nice, even breaths now. So let's check in with how the body's feeling today. And then we'll stack those palms at heart center and take a moment to set an intention for this practice. It might be that word lightness, or it might be anything else that's important to you today. Just bring it to the front of your mind, to the front of your heart. And then we're going to release those hands back down to the lap. And this time we're going to turn those palms up. So my palms are up. My fingers are very soft and curled. I still have the nice tall spine. And as we inhale, we're going to let that breath fill up our fingers, almost like we're blowing up a balloon. So when we inhale, the fingers will extend, the palm will expand. And as we exhale, everything softens again. And just take a few breaths like that, tying together our breath and our body. And these don't have to be big movements, but they are mindful. Let's take one more like that. And then we'll just turn the hands at the wrist, maybe move the feet a little bit, little wiggle, little jiggle, and we'll make our way to the edge of the chair. So I've got both feet on the floor now. I've moved to the edge of my chair. My sitting bones are on the chair. My feet are on the floor. Yes, and we're gonna come right into our cat and cow pose. So let's inhale, again, feel that length, that lift of the rib cage up out of the hips. And as we exhale, bring the belly button back to the spine, round the spine, drop the chin, allow those shoulder blades to separate on the back. Now, as we begin our inhale, we push into the feet, we push into the sitting bones. The spine gets long, almost like it's floating away. 
the sternum, the chin, the gaze lifts, shoulder blades come together on the back. Here we are in our cow pose. Exhale, again, starting with the feet, the sitting bones, belly button goes back, we round. Drop the chin, cow, I'm sorry, cat. Inhale, fill up, arch the back. Coming back to our cow. And just make a few more breaths with this movement. Again, tying breath and body together. And the mind as well, because we're very mindful of what's happening here and what we're doing and how it affects us. And after your next exhale, whenever that may be, come up to that nice tall spine again. Let the shoulders come down from the ears. Pause and check in with how you feel. We'll release those arms down alongside the body. Just kind of let them hang there. And imagine that those shoulders are heavy and coming down from the ears. And we're going to move the arms with the breath. So as we inhale, let's just let one arm float up. Again, it's that, that feeling of lightness, that lift, that floating on the inhale. And then as we exhale, it floats down just as easily. So we're not slamming it down. We're letting it move with the breath. And then we're going to switch to the other side. The inhale will lift it. And the exhale will allow it to soften and lower. Feel that feeling of lightness. And we'll do one more round like that. Allowing the inhale to lift the arm. And it lowers on the exhale. Other side. then pause. Take a circle with those shoulders. Check in with how the body feels. Now we're going to move to the lower body and we're going to switch the breath up a little bit. So we're going to take the inhale to get ready and as we exhale, let's just come up onto the toes of one foot. So as we exhale, that heel lifts. Inhale, the heel goes back down. Exhale, other side. So feeling that that thigh is getting lighter and it lifts up. Isn't that kind of fun, that lightness? So that inhale is at the center, and it's the exhale that allows us to lift that heel. Inhale lowers it. Exhale, we take it to the other side. Let's do one more round like that. And then just pause, check in. And I'd like us to really bring our attention to just all the dimensions of this torso. So that when we inhale, it's not just, you know, the belly puffs up and goes down or the shoulders lift, but, but everything kind of has this feeling of lightness. And then that exhale softens. Now we're going to come back to those legs and maybe we want to lift that foot a little higher on that exhale. So let's think about how it's going to happen. We're going to take the inhale. As we exhale, the belly button is going to go back to support us and maybe that thigh lifts a little bit higher. The foot comes off the ground. Inhale, we come back down. Now I'm not taking this to a rounded spine. I'm not here in a little cat pose, but I'm sitting up tall and allowing the exhale to pull the belly button back and then that thigh just floats up. Inhale, returns it. Exhale, thigh lifts. And inhale, returns. And you might want to bring your hands down alongside the chair for a little bit of extra support. If you keep your hands on your thighs, a little bit more work perhaps for those thighs. Let's try one more round on each side. Remember, it's the exhale that allows us to float the thigh up. Inhale, brings it back down. And exhale. And then just pause here. Now we're going to tie together the top and bottom halves of the body because that's what makes it fun and interesting for the brain. 
So let's do it this way. Let's inhale. Let's take our right arm up. I'm going to use my right arm. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, left knee comes up. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, bring both down. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, right knee. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, lower bow. Inhale, right arm. Exhale, left knee. So we're crossing the midline. See how I'm sitting tall. Take another inhale. Maybe that rib cage lifts a little higher. Exhale, lowers everything. Inhale, left arm. The exhale lifts the right thigh. We stay for the inhale, lifting that rib cage. Exhale comes all the way down. Let's do another one. Last one, I promise. Inhale, lift. Exhale, return. And then just pause and check in with how everything feels. Where do you notice sensation now? Maybe a little heat building up. Okay, let's move, let's move sideways now. So for our sideways stretch today, let's let the inhale take both arms up. Again, with that feeling of lightness, right? We're coming up. And then as we exhale, just lean in one direction, drop that arm down. We'll stay here for an extra breath this time, just to feel what this feels like. Now that hand can rest on the chair if you like, or it can just dangle there. And then on your next inhale, we'll take both arms up and we'll take it to the other side. Breathing here. Now I have both sitting bones on the floor, both, uh, both sitting bones on the chair, both feet on the floor, breathing into the side body. Next inhale, that arm comes up and we'll float it down. So, we're just gonna take that breath and go from side to side. We know that if that long arm doesn't serve us, we can always take it to a cactus arm. So let's get ready. Now, I'm, I think I'm gonna take my feet just a little bit wider apart. So I feel a little bit more stable. See if that helps you. Push into the feet, push into the sitting bones, sit up tall, feel that lightness. The whole upper body just kinda wants to float away. And then we'll inhale, let's take both arms up, as we exhale, lean over to one side. With the inhale, we'll float the arm back up, straighten out the spine, and as we exhale, we go the other way. Inhale, and exhale. And inhale, and exhale. And bring both arms up now, Soften into the elbows. Let's bring those hands back down. Take a circle with those shoulders. I like to wiggle my toes here. Yeah, pick up the heels. Okay, now we're gonna add in a twist. For our twist today, we're gonna take it to a cactus arm. Uh, shoulders down from the ears. We'll sit up tall on the inhale, and as we exhale, we're gonna twist in one direction. And what I'd like us to do is to turn and look at the back hand. Inhale back to center and exhale twist in the other direction, looking at the back hand. Inhale, come back to center. Let's float the arms down. Check in with that. We'll come back, we'll do three in a row, but let's make sure everything's okay and make the modifications that we need, right? If we need to lower those elbows, we can do that. And let's, let's make a big movement to start. So we'll inhale, circle, sweep the arms up. And as we exhale, soften the elbows. Come to your cactus arm today. Take an inhale, sit up tall, feel that rib cage float up. Exhale, twist in one direction. Turn the head, look at the back hand. Inhale through center. And exhale, look at the back hand. Come back to center. Let's do it again. Twisting, turning, return to center. Go the other way. And return, we'll do one more in each direction. And then return to center. Let's reach the arms up one last time. Bring the palms together and down to your heart. And we'll release those hands to the lap. Take a circle or two, move the feet, do whatever you like. 
and then we'll tie those together. So let's tie together the side body stretch and the twists. Find your connection to the floor. I've got my feet eh, about hip distance apart. So they're just kind of coming straight out of my hips. Feet are down and really firm on the floor. My sitting bones are firm on this chair, so I feel very stable. Let's release the arms down alongside the body. When we're ready, the inhale floats the arms up. Exhale, lean over in one direction. Inhale through center. Take it the other way. Return to center. Side body again, leaning over. Think about that inhale, lifting the whole torso. And as we exhale, we stretch into the side. One more like that, leaning over to one side and return. Other side and return. And soften those elbows now, cactus arms. Push into your feet, inhale, get taller. And as we exhale, we're gonna take a twist. Look at the back hand. Come back to center on your inhale. Exhale, take it the other way. One more in each direction, moving slowly and with that nice, even breath. Exhaling on that final twist. Inhale, return to center. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Inhale, reach up, look up, bring the palms together, and then down to heart center. Pause here for a moment. Release those hands to the lap. Check in with how the body feels. And we're going to move to standing now. I'm standing now. I've moved my chair and I have the back of the chair towards me and I can use it to help with balance or I can use that wall behind me. But before we go any farther, let's find our mountain pose. Our feet are about hip distance apart. We can let those arms rest down by our side. Let's feel that breath filling up the torso in all directions. Feel that lift of the rib cage. And let's take three breaths in our moving mountain. So as we inhale, the arms are gonna float up and so are the heels, just as high as is comfortable. And then the exhale will lower everything back down. Let the heels land. Try that again. Inhale, reach up, circle up. Heels lift and we exhale and lower. It gets kind of exciting when we get up there. You can always use the chair to help support you. And then just pause and check in with how you feel. Now we're gonna do that flow that we did seated. We're gonna do it standing. We'll do one round normal. So we come to our mountain pose. Shoulders are down from the ears. Let's see, let's do two side body uh, stretches. One, two, one, two. And two sets of twists. That's what we'll do. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, we're gonna lean over to one side. We've done this. Inhale through center, and the exhale takes us the other way. Think about that inhale lifting us, that light feeling, and then we go to the other side. Both feet are firm on the floor. Exhale. Let's inhale, take both arms up, and this time we're gonna exhale, soften the elbows, take it to your cactus arms. Inhale, get a little bit taller. Exhale, take a twist. Look back at the back hand. Inhale, come back through center. I'm just going to turn a little bit so you can see better. Exhale, twist other direction. Look at the back hand. Inhale through center. Exhale. Come to center. Last exhale. Return to center on your inhale. Soften the shoulders on the exhale. Next inhale, reach up, look up, and bring those hands back down to heart on the exhale. 
Okay, now we're gonna make it a little bit more fun. We're gonna come up onto the toes when we come to the twist. We'll call it our tiptoe twist, okay? Let's try it. Arms are down, we'll do two side body stretches, and then we're gonna make our way, as our elbows come down, we're gonna lift up the heels. Don't worry, I'll tell you everything. If you feel unstable, you don't have to lift up on your toes or you can lower at any time. All good, we also have a chair, we have the wall behind us. When you're ready, we'll inhale, circle the arms up, feel that lift, exhale, lean over. Inhale takes us back up, exhaling other way. And return, we'll do it again, one more on each side. Okay, inhale, arms come up. As we exhale, the elbows lower. Next inhale, lift up onto the toes. Now, exhale, take that twist. Can you turn your head and look back? Inhale through center, stay up on those toes if you can. Exhale, turn in the other direction. Now, if you don't want to, of course, you always lower the heels whenever you're finished with this. Come back to center, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, lower the heels. Inhale, reach up, look up, palms come together. And as we exhale, thumbs come back to heart center. Let's release those arms. Let's pause and check in with how we feel. And then we're gonna turn and face our chair. So we're gonna face the back of the chair. And this is where we could use that block if we have one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, have the block in my hands and then I'm gonna set up my feet for my warrior one. So let's step, I'm stepping my right foot back. My left foot is forward. And if balance is an issue today, we completely skip the block and we just use the chair for support. But I'm setting up, I have room for my hips. My feet are like on train tracks. Front knee is bent over the front ankle. And then I'm gonna straighten that leg. So I'm set, I know that's gonna be my warrior one. Now I'm gonna take my block. And I'm gonna take my block the wide way and hold it between my palms. So my fingers are not working, it's my palms. And when I hold it that way, all these other muscles in my arms start to work. So here I am in my warrior one with my front leg straight right now. As we inhale, we bend the knee, squeeze that block between the palms, reach it up. And exhale, come on back down. Think about that floating up, that lightness lifting you up. And exhale, returns you. Now this time we're gonna take it up, we're gonna leave it up. Maybe we even look up. There's a little bit of a back bend in that upper back. We breathe here. And then we'll float it back down. You can hold the block in one hand and step that back foot forward using the chair to help us. And we get ready for the other side. Now I'm gonna do the other side without the block just to show you that it can be done, right? So we get our foundation ready. We know where our feet need to be. They're like on train tracks. My front knee is bent over the front ankle and then I'm gonna straighten it. I'm gonna do the same thing with my hands and arms. I'm imagining that block between my palms and as I do that squeeze, that dynamic tension here, I feel those muscles in the upper arm engage as well. Not my shoulders, but the arm. So when we're ready, Inhale, bend the knee, reach that imaginary block up, and exhale, return. Feel that lightness, lifting your arms up, lifting the rib cage up. This next round, we come into the pose and we stay here. Perhaps we look up, lifting the sternum, the chin, the gaze. Breathing here, we still have that dynamic tension between the palms. This can also be done with softer elbows, but we're still squeezing that block, that imaginary block. And then we'll float the arms down, straighten the leg, bring your hand to the chair, and 
and step that back foot forward. Pause here, take a breath. Notice how that feels. Now we're gonna turn and face the seat of the chair. So you might move. I'm just gonna turn my, my chair here so that it's still in the frame. I'm gonna put it at a little angle here. Yeah. And we're gonna take, we don't need the block now, so put it someplace safe that you won't trip. Put the block down. Find your, your chair, your space here. And we're gonna take a slightly wider stance. So I have a stance mm, a little bit wider than my hips. These are my hip bones, my feet are a little wider. I feel really stable here. You couldn't knock me over. And I'm gonna face the seat of the chair like this and then take an inhale, get taller, feel that lightness, that lift and fold forward, bringing the hands to the seat of the chair. And you see I have a nice long spine. My neck is in line with the spine. My head is not up or down, but neutral, except when I look at the camera. Okay, so here we are in our little uh, hinge forward. We'll take one hand. I'm gonna bring my right hand right to the center of my chair, and it's right underneath my nose, okay? So my right hand is right underneath my face. My right hand is pushing into the chair. The left hand's gonna move with the breath. As we inhale, I reach that arm out to the side, maybe to shoulder height, I can look at it. And exhale, bring it back down. Next inhale, might take it a little higher than shoulder height, a little bit deeper twist here. And exhale, bring it back down. And then this time, let's take it up as high as it wants to go. Maybe we'll stay here for an extra breath. And as we exhale, we'll float that hand back down. So both hands on the chair seat now. Find that long spine, keep that neck in line, and then I'm going to move my left hand to the center of my chair so it's right underneath my face. The hand is on the chair, and then my head is above it. I'm going to release that right hand, and as I inhale, I take that arm out to the side, just shoulder height, and I look at it, and I let the exhale bring it back. Think about floating up. Inhale. Take that arm up perhaps a little bit higher, and the exhale brings it back. And this time, it's just gonna be so light, it's gonna float away. We look up there, we stay for an extra round of breath, and then we're gonna bring that hand all the way back down to the chair seat. Two hands on the chair seat, long spine. Soften into the knees, bring one hand to each thigh, push into the feet make your way back to standing. And we'll bring those feet back together. We'll check in with how we feel. And now we're gonna make our way back to our chair. Okay, we come back to our chair and I'm sitting towards the edge right now and I'm gonna take my feet wider than my hips. So I have a wide stance here, wide stance. And then I'll take, I'm gonna take my left hand and bring it inside my left thigh. And this right arm has an opportunity now to reach up on the inhale. A big side body stretch here. And as we exhale, we'll bring it back down. I'll sit up tall. Let's try that again. Same side. Inhale, take it up and over. And exhale, come back. One more. Reach it up. Let's stay here now. Take a few breaths. Feel the sitting bones on the chair, the feet on the floor. Side body stretch here. Breathing into the space between the ribs. And then we'll float that arm back down. Take a circle with the shoulders. We'll go in the other direction now. So I'm taking my right forearm inside that right thigh. And I'm going to, as, as I take that inhale, I imagine that arm is just floating up to the ceiling. And as I exhale, it floats right back down almost like it's on a cloud. Inhale, take it up and over. And exhale, return. I feel very stable on my chair. My sitting bones are down. My feet are on the floor. This time, let's stay here. Breathing here, feeling the space between the ribs expand and contract. Bring that arm back down. Let's sit up tall. Take a circle or two with those shoulders. Let's bring those feet back together. And we're going to make our way to the back of the chair. Again, I use this block to connect my feet to the floor because my legs are shorter. 
My thighs are completely supported by this chair. And while the back is right at my back, I'm not slumping into it. I am sitting up and away from it. So I'm still engaging these core muscles and the muscles of my back. Let's turn the palms up. Soften or close the eyes. And return your attention to your breath. Bringing, bringing your awareness to that place where you experience the breath the most. And maybe it's changed from the beginning of our practice. Or maybe you're going to go right back to that same spot. All good. And let's imagine we're filling up those fingers with the breath again. Inhaling, expanding into the palm and all those fingers straighten and uncurl. And as we exhale, fingers soften again, palms soften. And do one more of those breaths. And then let go of the movement. We'll stack the palms at heart center and recall the intention that we set at the very beginning of our practice. And then we'll release those hands back down by our side, open the eyes if they're closed, and we'll slide our bodies to the edge of the chair again, connecting the feet back to the floor. Sit up tall and check in. Notice if you feel any lighter now compared to when we started. Let's inhale. Let those arms lift. And as we exhale, we'll bring those palms together in front of heart center. Let the thumbs come to the sternum. Tuck your chin. And thank yourself for taking time to practice yoga today. And thank you so much for allowing me to guide you. I really enjoy preparing these classes for you. Stay well, my friends. I will see you again soon.